home. Some of us are blessed to have one, and some of us aren't. I, for one, can say I've been tremendously blessed with a home. And that's why I'm creating this video series called Project 16. And it's pretty much about me growing up in this house behind me. And the main reason why I'm starting is because in about a year, we have to move out. So yeah, in about a year we have to move out and um, it's hard for me to talk about just because I spent my whole life here, which is uh, just about to be 22 years. And um, you know, it's hard for my sister and I to talk about it, but all things come to an end and they lead to new beginnings. So while yeah, it is sad, but uh, I'm also looking forward to what the future holds. So this right here is the entrance to my house. Uh, it's the only entrance I've ever known. So the longest I've been without coming here has been like three weeks. One's like when we go to Wet the Mile or something. But this is the only entrance I've ever known to my house. And this is a little chalk mural I did as a kid. I want to cover this whole, whole section with chalk, but my mom didn't let me. But that's just one of many memories I've had growing up in this place. So Project 16 is just going to be a bunch of videos on my last year in this place. Uh, for example, this is the, the back deck. Um, this is probably part of the house we've had the least amount of time just because there are other people who live here too. And they, they had this spot, but we've had this spot for a while now. So yeah, so these are the stairs where I guess we barbecue, where I put my bike, which is out of order right now because I hit a car, long story, whatever. This spot right here, this step, is where I've always put on my shoes since I was a little kid. Well, I guess when I was really young, it was like this next step over, but like from what I can remember from like, let's say like grade three to like present day, this is where I put on my shoes every single day. So this is the entrance to my house. Uh, I guess this is where the journey begins. Welcome uh, to the last year of my life here, guys. Official entry into my last year. And I guess childhood memories just, this is the place where I come in and out, going home, you know, Come in, to the left is my room, to the right is my sister's room, washroom, kitchen, whatever you guys will see it. But yeah, you know, it's my one memory of, of home, you know, always coming in here, always seeing the carpet that I've seen for my entire life, and it's just, it's just home. This is the kitchen, well, I mean, you can't see it right now, but like, this is the kitchen. And this is the spot where I always eat and always have eaten since I was a kid. Across from me is my dad, to my right is my sister, and to the left is my mom. But I've always sat in this spot every day of my life. Except when I eat breakfast, because when I eat breakfast, I go to this couch and watch TSN with Jane Dan. But yeah, but in the kitchen, this is my spot. My memory is dinner time. Always eat here. Here in the living room, this has always been my spot. Well, okay, technically, okay, well, to be honest, I have kind of multiple spots in the, in the living room. But this is how I eat breakfast. You know, we're just in the kitchen, but I'll usually put my plate right here, bowl of cereal, whatever, turn on TV, eat while I watch Jay and Dan. But yeah, so this is where I eat. And then as a kid, we had a different sofa, which is the one, which is the same one like over there. I'll show you guys that later. But like, this is the sofa where I always fall asleep on when I come home from school or when I just want to take a nap, this is where I'd come and just sleep. So room-wise, you're probably wondering, all right, Andres, you know, you're saying all these memories about your house, but like, where's your actual room? So we actually have three rooms in this house, my parents, my sisters, and my room. My parents' room has always been my parents' room, no question asked. You know, it's the biggest room, so they've always been in it. But uh, my sister and I have always switched, so it was either to the right or to the left. So, from what I remember, my sister will probably agree on this, hopefully. When, well, she's older, so she had the big room to herself. No, she had the small, oh, I can't remember, give me a second. Yeah, okay, so she first had the big room and then the small room was used for storage. And then I came along to the picture, thank you, Jesus. But uh, then we shared the big room together, but once we got too old, she went into the small room and I stayed in the big room. But then we switched and I went into the small room. She took the big room. And then when she was in uni, I switched into the big room and she stayed into the she stayed in the little room. And it's been like that ever since because well, I mean I have more stuff, like I have more instruments and everything, so I need the space and she doesn't. 
But yeah, so room wise, both rooms have a special meaning in me. You know, I've there are memories in each room, so yeah. So yeah, in a year, this place won't be home to me anymore. And that's what's gonna hurt the most. And uh, I was supposed to release this on June 29th to make it exactly a year, but I was down in California for, for our youth event. And uh, those vlogs will be coming out shortly, so stay tuned for that. But as of Project 16, um, this is the start. It's gonna be a, a sad one with a happy ending, but a sad story to share for sure. So I just hope that you stick along with me go through uh, these last few memories that I can create in this place and I just gotta thank God for blessing us with this place I mean home is home and and it's all I've really known so welcome to Project 16 and I hope you have a good time watching <laughs>